Welcome to our tutorial about polar tracking. Let's begin by activating the line tool. And I'm going to create my first point. Currently, ortho mode remains active. You see that the icon's blue. Let's activate the polar tracking mode, which is the mode right next to it. Notice that ortho mode was automatically switched off. The icon is now gray. That's because we can't use these two modes at the same time. Notice my cursor snapping to 90 degree angles. However, I'm also able to create lines at other angles. Let's create a few lines here that aren't at 90 degree angles. Now, if I want to set up tracking for various angles, I right click on the mode toggle and then scroll up and select the number from the list. For example, 45. Now watch the snaps. There's 0, 45, 90, 135, and so on. By the way, notice that each angle tracking selection is a division of 90 degrees. 45 is 90 divided by 2, 30 is 90 divided by 3, 90 by 18 is 6, 90 by 15 is 7, etc. Let's click outside of the menu to collapse it. And let's create a couple more lines. Enter 5 in the command line and press Enter. Now, if I want to create a line under some different angle, what I can do is right click on the mode toggle and select Settings. Check Add Additional Angles and click on New. Then I enter my values in these fields 55, New again, 65, OK. Here's 45, 55, 65. And let's enter 6 in the command line and press Enter. Now if I want to create a line relative to my last line, let's right click on the mode toggle again and go to Settings. Take a look at Polar Angle Measurement. I'm going to select Relative to Last Angle Measurement and click OK. Now our tracking is relative to our last movements. 0, 55, 45, 65, and so on. Let's enter 1 in the command line and press Enter. And let's restore absolute tracking. Settings, absolute, OK. And this concludes our lesson about polar tracking.